Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 17 in this series and is entitled Exceptions in Java. An exception occurs when a problem is encountered during program execution. It is a part in the program where something we did not expect happened. Technically, an exception is thrown and we may catch it using the try catch or the try catch finally statements. Look at this program and try to see the problem. You may pause this video if you need more time to find it. Well, we have an array named grades with three elements. And since an array index starts with zero, the third element has to have an index two. But in the sum statement, we called index three, an index that doesn't exist. Let's try to run it and see the message. We can see the message welcome to this program from the first print line, but not the result of sum from the second print line. This suggests that the problem occurs between these two print line statements, which is none other than the sum statement. And because we tried to call an index tree for the array, the system thrown an exception called array index out of bounds exception. We will catch this exception on our own by using try catch finally. Inside the try block, is uh, the possible part in the program that contains the exception. So it's possible that it would be these three statements. We know that for a fact, actually. The catch block identifies the error. It is a handler because it identifies the type of exception that is written in the argument. There are many different types of exception, but for now, we're going to use exception. We can print it using print line. We'll start it with the message error followed by the message from the exception. We may omit the finally block, but if we want to include it, as its name suggests, it is done at the end. And one good thing about this block is that this block is always executed. That's it. Congratulations. We've just implemented our own exception. Now let's try to run it. Class. Now you can see that even if there's an error inside the program because of the address 3, we were still able to successfully run it. Let's do activity number 33 where we will help Mrs. Almul him, a nursery teacher, who prepared a basket of 24 apples which she plans to give to her well-behaved students but she doesn't want any apple to be cut into pieces. So we will create a job project that will help her to distribute these by asking how many kids she want to give. Get the absolute value to control negative inputs, and we will use an exception for an entity of zero and non-integer values. After a valid input, we will display how many apples each well-behaved student will receive, as well as the number of apples left. At the end, we will display thank you. We only have one input and that would be the number of kids that will receive the apple. For our output, it will be the number of pieces that each kid will receive, uh, the number of apples left, and some messages. So for the process, we have to input the number of kids. Uh, that will be the task of Mrs. al -Mulhim. And then we have to get the absolute value so to disregard the negative values entered. And then we have to get the number of pieces for each kid uh, we can do that by simply dividing 24 to the number of kids. To make sure that there is no fractional part, we will make all the variables integer. And then uh, the number of apples left would be equal to 24 minus the number of apples distributed, which is the number of kids times the pieces that they received. And then we will display the pieces and left. So all this we will put in the try block because... Uh, the possible error would occur during the input when an input of zero would result to a division of zero or a non-integer value will be in entered, which means that it's either a letter or something else. For the catch, we will simply display the error. And for the finally black, we will simply display thank you. Let's call it kids apples. 
let's import Java that util that scanner for our inputs and let's instantiate that scanner with object input which is equal to new scanner system that in okay we'll declare uh, three variables right a num kids pieces and left all of them are integers we can now write our try block we'll start with a prompt to miss him about the number of kids who will receive apple we will put that in variable num kids that next int then the number of pieces will be equal to 24 divided by the number of kids left will be equal to 24 minus the number of kids times the pieces that they received now we can display the outputs we'll start with how many they will receive each kid will receive this much and then we also have to display how many were left okay this is for the try block now we'll try to catch the exception the type we'll put still exception we'll use variable e and we'll display the output by using still print line and then the error plus the message and last is the finally block where we will simply put what yeah thank you That's it, class. Now let's try to run it. Uh, let's make it a valid input. For example, there will be five students who will receive, or five kids. So each kid will receive four. Uh, full slap will be four because four times five is 20. So 24 minus 20, there will be four left. And then the thank you. Let's try to run it again. You can do it here from here. The number of kids who will receive apple let's put zero now there's an exception division by zero let's try to run it again an input of a letter error again a mismatch exception and then thank you okay very good well done this time for activity number 34 we will try to revise the last project by identifying specifically the two exceptions that can be encountered a division by zero and a non-integer input so our process will differ from the catch in the catch block we have to identify specifically those errors or those exceptions the arithmetic exception for division by zero and the input mismatch exception for the non-integer input okay so now we're going to write our own messages for the two exceptions we will no longer need the E so the first one is the division by zero then we'll have another one I'll just copy it that is the input mismatch exception uh, input mismatch exception and the error is that there was a non-integer input okay class oh there's an error um 
uh, if this happens, then you can import from Java that util that all the other exceptions. Uh, you can see here the input mismatch exception. But so as you can uh, include also the other exception, just put star or asterisk and it will already be recognized. So let's try to run for an entry of zero division by zero. That is now our own message. Let's try to run again. An entry of a letter, a non-integer, there, the non-integer input. Good job. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, Masalama.